Hey guys, this is Brian with CCLS 2001 with today's video. Uh, this is a follow-up video or a sequel video to the, re the uh, review video I did on this Craftsman Z6400. If you go back a, a day or two on my channel, you'll be able to find it. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when I post new videos that you might be interested in. And anyway, what happened the day I did my, vid my review video on this machine, the accelerator cable broke. And it broke right here at the, the um, throttle handle. If you can see, that cable is broke. It's separated at the end of it broke away. I didn't have any way to control the uh, speed of the engine. So what I had to do, being that I was in the field, I had to take a wire and I had to wrap it around and kind of jerry-rig it to make sure I could get my job finished that day. But anyway, I bought a new cable and I bought it, I went to, actually my wife went to the website, I went to the internet and uh, oh, as some people say the old interwebs and uh, found a website that gave the part numbers for these machines. And um, she found the part, proper part number for this and we went to Amazon, we ordered it, it was 38 bucks, it was not prime but it was delivered in just a few days. So anyway, uh, the, the trick you need to know about this, if you have one of these or like a Cub Cadet that has this same cable, these holes are not uh, threaded. You have to use the, th the bolts that are inside your command center uh, to thread the bolts. That's why I've already done that. I pre-did that before the video. So now I'm ready to put it on. So let's get started. One other thing, if you don't like getting dirty, you may want to hire somebody else to do this because you have to lay on the ground and get dirty. So let's get started. The tools you're going to need to do this job is a, I believe this is a T10 Torx head wrench. I just got a little combo unit here and, and a Phillips head screwdriver. And the, I don't know exactly what size this is, but you just get the proper ones to fit and to fit the screws properly and you should be good. What I've got to do first, I've already got my holes uh, pre-threaded. I've got to lay on the ground and feed the cable underneath this control, control panel. And I'll feed this handle up through there and get my bolt started. So let's do that. Okay, I've already got my, my handle started, my, the, the screws started. So let's get them tightened up. You just take the Torx head bolt and you tighten it up, get it run down through the metal. Okay, we've got the handle start, the bolt started in the handle. Now we're going to tighten them up to secure them. Like I said, these had to be pre, these had to be threaded because they were not, these are self tapping screws. And that's what you have to do. You have to thread them first, then put it on there. Get it under there, tighten it up, secure it down. Now the next step, as you can see, this handle comes off. It's got a nut that's recessed in there, right there. And then your Phillips head screw, this is where your Phillips screwdriver comes in. Now, all you do, you hold the nut with your finger like that to keep it from falling out. Take your Phillips screwdriver. This is where your Phillips screwdriver comes in at. You see that Phillips screw right there? That's and it's, it's got a nut that's recessed in it. You just take that out. You slide the handle over like that. Actually, it goes this way. You put the nut in the in the little recessed area. You take your bolt. Put it in the hole or get close to it and you take your screwdriver and you stick it in there and you get it started. Make sure it's good and tight and that's it. Now, now the next thing is routing the cable to the proper place. It got, has to go between the engine block and the battery and it'll, it'll kink up a little bit but once you pull it through it'll straighten right up. Now this, this plate right here, this bracket, this is where your cable goes. 
you feed it through there and you pull it through till the cable is kind of taut then okay the next step is putting this keeper plate on the cable where you can it'll it, the housing will stay stationary and the inside cable part will move so let's get that done You hook the cable in that little hole right there. Okay, before you mount the, put the cable in the keeper mount, you gotta feed it through this hole. Right there. And then you gotta bring it around like this. And there's a little, I'm probably gonna have to take it back out. It's, uh, it's curved, it's got a little pin on the bottom of it. Yeah, I had to take it back out and put it in there. That's all right, it's not a, it's, it's a, it's not a hard thing to do, getting this bolt started. There we go. I make sure that keeper, that the bottom of that keeper, it's like a little pin goes in that hole, and then you just tighten it up. All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, we got it installed. Uh, got it hooked to the engine. Got the bolts here installed. Got the handle installed. So let's crank it up and see what she does. Before, remember, before it, had, it ran wide open or completely shut off. So let's see what happens. Okay guys, there was some trial and error with this and trust me when I say you will get dirty if you're doing this yourself. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, feel free to hire an outside source to install it for you, but it's really simple. It just takes a little bit of time. But anyway, this is Brian with CCLS 2001 saying have a great day, God bless, and be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and the ring button. Have a blessed day.